We're staying asleep all through the night. Waking up in the middle of the night, staring at the ceiling. Waking up too early in the morning. And feeling exhausted throughout the day. So today I'd like to talk to you about the impact that sleep has on your health and some tips to improve your sleep. The first subject I'd like to talk about is sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is a condition where your airways contract and you wake up in the middle of the night to prevent yourself from suffocating. I'd like to tell you a story about one of my clients, Tim. He was exhausted all day. He'd wake up exhausted, go to work, and have to literally stand at his desk so he wouldn't fall asleep. In the evening, he'd come home from work and fall asleep on the couch. He was just always exhausted. The last straw was, was when Tim fell asleep at the wheel of the car. He finally went to the doctor. He was diagnosed with sleep apnea and given a device to help him sleep better through the night. The other results Tim had was he lost 50 pounds and he also reduced his blood pressure. People with sleep apnea also have high blood pressure. There's 18 million Americans with sleep apnea. Most of them go undiagnosed and untreated. Sleep apnea is not the only problem that America has. 70% of Americans are sleep deprived. Most of us think that we can do 10 things at once. However, that is preposterous. We just can't. Long gone are the days of Starbucks. This is now the era of prescription drugs to keep people awake and focused, better known as amphetamines or speed. Our bodies are meant to follow our biological rhythms that help us keep healthy and produce psychic pulses that produce hormones such as melatonin and human growth hormones. When this doesn't happen and our sleep is disturbed, disease and bodily breakdown get the better of us. We have evolved with the rhythms of day and night that signal the release of hormones. These hormones help us repair our DNA, build muscles and tissues, and control the chemicals for weight and mood. However, the advent of the light bulb has changed all that. What happens when we don't sleep, our cortisol is released along with all of its harmful effects, such as brain damage, dementia, osteoporosis, diabetes, high blood pressure, heart attacks, and depression, and much more. We all need seven to nine hours of restful sleep. However, that can be difficult to achieve, unless you're a baby or a teenager. So my next story is about Kim. Our sleep needs to be prioritized. Kim was also one of my clients. She had a successful medical practice, but Kim was obsessed with coming home from night at night and doing her laundry. She would wash, dry, fold laundry and put it away. Well, this <coughs> kept Kim awake hours at night. She never had time to unwind. Therefore, the next morning, she wasn't available for her patients. And she never had time on the weekends because she was always exhausted to ride her horses. I worked with Kim for several months to change her behavior, to let her just let go of having to do all that laundry. She finally had some family members help her with it and spread it out through the week. The result was Kim was a bit more available during the day for her patients and had time on the weekends to ride her horses. So some tips for a good night's sleep. Number one, go to bed at the same time and wake up at the same time every day. Two, allow your bedroom only for sleeping and romance. <laughs> Create a restful and serene environment using soft colors in the bedroom, along with total darkness and quiet. Write down your worries an hour before you go to sleep and make a plan to reduce them. Eat three hours before you go to bed Take a warm bath and use a meditation CD. 
to help help you relax. If you're still having trouble sleeping, see a doctor because there's other problems you could be having. Thyroid, food sensitivities, fibromyalgia, menopause, stress or depression. And remember, don't skip on sleep. It is one of the most important, powerful treatments you can do to achieve lifelong, vibrant health.